sometimes I look at my clay, look at my pile of clay, and I think, oh God, I've got to make that into a, into a big pig. Mm -hmm. And you, you do feel a, like a bit of a magician sometimes. And I just remember always being excited around animals, and it was like the best thing. If I, if I ever got asked where I'd want to go on a day trip, it would always be the zoo, the zoo, the zoo, the zoo, or the Natural History Museum. I know that I don't want to make reproductions of animals. I'm, I'm, the things that I'm interested about in animals um, is something to do with the sort of presence and energy and characteristics of that animal, the sort of rawness of it. I'm not really interested in personality. And yet somehow in me chasing after you know, form and energy and animal dynamics, I get the personalities. <laughs> that brings a lot of humour to a lot of my work, which is not unintentional, but sometimes it's more than I'd like, I think. Um, yeah, I really am interested in the serious side of animals. One of the reasons I chose the rabbit and scaled it up is because I wanted to try and make them a little bit kind of mean and bullyish, a little bit more aggressive. I always draw. I'm a drawer, so I draw, 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 draw. I need to get quite exacting information about the animal so I can then decide what to exaggerate, you know, what I'm going to leave out. Um, you know, I can redesign the piece. I also really get excited about looking at skeletons um, and I collect a lot of bones and skulls. Um, but I've always been interested in bones. I'm not terribly interested in exotic animals. I, I'm much more uh, excited about sort of urban creatures, uh, you know, the, the, the slightly sort of mongrel, working, um, the, the animals that we take for granted really. Um, and very often when I do dogs, I'll do a sort of hybrid dog, a sort of mongrel muck. I want to exploit everything to do with clay, as well as try and exploit everything to do with the animal image that I'm, I'm locked into at that time. I just love the subtle nuances and the feel of an animal and the different texture in the fur and the colour. You know, sometimes it's all too much for me and I just feel like, you know, just exploding. <laughs> just, it really is an overwhelming feeling.